So once you've enabled the ability to pin windows on the Samsung tab for EDU, the next step is to actually pin the app that you want uh, to lock students in on. In order to do this, you actually need to open up another app before that, and you'll see what I mean. So I want to use this Photo Factory app that I have here from PBS Kids, but before I do that, I'm going to open another app that I have on here, such as Healthy Heroes. So I'm going to tap that app, and then I'm going to hit the back key on my tablet to exit it. So now that I've opened that app and I've exited, and I've already previously opened up the uh, Photo Factory app, what I'm going to do is on my tablet, I'm going to tap the Recent key, which is there uh, just to the left of the Home key. And it's going to show me a list of the apps that I've opened. And here you can see I've got my Healthy Heroes window, but I actually want the Photo Factory one just behind that. So I'm going to swipe to get rid of the Healthy Heroes. And in doing so, you'll see in the bottom there's a little pin option. So when I tap on that pin icon right there, that's going to change my screen and it's going to give me this menu that says that pinning windows is on and that I can go ahead and get started. So now when I hit start, it's going to be very difficult for students to exit as it shows in the bottom that the application has been locked. So by tapping back, I can't simply exit. In order to get out of the application altogether, I have to tap the recent and home, uh, excuse me, the recent and the back key at the same time. So this will make it a little bit more difficult for students to accidentally exit an app. There we go. So now you can see it took me a little bit to get there and then I had to press and hold and now I'm, I'm out of the app and now I have the ability to exit. So that's just a little bit about how you can uh, pin the app uh, that you want to the screen.